guys, how are you? It's August 25th, 2011, and if you've been following me on Twitter, then you'll know that I just got a solid state drive. Now, if you watched my t uh, tour of my kids video, which can be seen right around here-ish, um, I said near the end that it'd probably be like a couple months to a year before I'd get a solid state drive, and that was before I saw this deal on Newegg. I got this drive for about $84, and so, um, of course, now, like, I think it was Kyle Twit on Twitter. Go ahead and check him out. He linked me to the same drive, and you can get this drive right now for like seventy dollars. And so um, this drive right here is an OCZ Agility Three. It's a sixty gigabyte solid state drive, which doesn't seem like a lot, and really it's not. But just for a boot drive, it's going to be great. Um, I, I plan on just having Lion on here, and then I have another five hundred gig and another terabyte. So my terabyte is just going to be my backup drive. My 500 gigabyte is going to have another version of um, of Lion on it for like a backup purpose. It's going to have Windows on it, and this is going to be just for Lion. So um, 60 gigabytes for just an OS. I can always have apps and stuff on my 500 gig. So um, yeah. So a few things about this drive. Uh, hopefully this will, this can focus there. As you can see, this is Sandforce driven. Uh, most of you know I have a Hackintosh, and so um, for and I, I don't think this really matters that I have a Hackintosh. But um, for this drive to run in OS 10 without many problems, um, the Sandforce controller is recommended. So that's one of the main reasons I got this drive. There you go. But um, so if you're buying a solid state drive for OS 10, make sure that it's Sandforce. Um, that's pretty much it. So I also did invest in a SATA 3 cable because my motherboard does support it. It's the X58AUD3R. And so um, with SATA 3, which is 6 gigabytes a second. This drive can reach speeds of up to, I believe, 525 read, or like megabits, a, a megabytes a second read, and then 475 megabytes a second write. So that's extremely fast. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with the unboxing. Okay, I don't have any scissors since I'm in my college dorm. I forgot them at home, so I'll be using my uh, nail clipper little thingy, majiggy. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so we're gonna come up here. do something like that remove the plastic I've been very excited if you've been following me on Twitter every day I've just been you know gushing over this solid state now that it's finally here it's just it's great I can't wait to get this installed alright so opening it up we have a little black box doesn't seem to want to come out too easily there we go there's the drive I lied. Well, the sticker did fall. My SSD is faster than your HDD. Oh snap! Sorry. Alright. Hachi chachi chong. Sorry about that. Um, there's the, I can actually understand that. And here's the solid state drive, and holy crap, it's small. And weighs nothing. Alright, I'll go ahead and take it out of the little anti-static bag. And here you are. A Jody 3 2.5 inch solid state drive. And um, since this is a 2.5 inch drive, I'm not a 3.5. I do have a little um, converter that came with my case. You'll see that in my next video, which is the installation of this drive. So um, I really I didn't need to invest in a bracket, but um, I'll go ahead and now I will unbox this cable for you guys. All right, so my drive is out of the way, and now here's my SATA 3 cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip that off. And what's nice about this cable is, I, I won't really say nice, but it's different and I just happen to like it, is that it's not flat like most are, this is like actually like a round cable, and so it, it definitely stands out for most SATA cables, um, I don't know, it's just a small little detail that I like a lot, but as you can see there, just as you know, a standard SATA connection. But yeah, so there you go, here's the solid state, and uh, like I said, my next video will be the installation of this drive. And here's my SATA cable. So if you have any questions, I'm at CPU Kit on Twitter, and um, I look forward to installing this for you guys. And um, I'll def I'll be doing a tutorial as well on how to install Lion on the Hackintosh from a USB drive. Like I'll be doing a tutorial on how to set it up and everything. So stay tuned to more content for the solid state drive. I'll be doing speed tests and review, and that's pretty much it. So before this video gets any longer.
thanks for watching.